What's going on everybody out there? Welcome to another installment of I Am Dead Memes hitting you upside the head with a smidge of commentary, current events, and YouTube drama. And apparently in this episode, Nicki Minaj fans clap back, honey, okay? The Republicans welcome Nicki Minaj to their side. Now you guys, before I get into this whole battle of a story here let me just preference let me just make a disclaimer a emotional parental warning honey okay i know that bobo 19 exists okay i know that people have suffered from having this viral download okay i know that people have passed away from this and or complications of surrounding this i am not discrediting that this exists hello sars okay we know that there were certain groups of people who were wearing masks long before us over here in the u.s okay no shade no tea but you have to admit with everything that we have seen thus far, mind you, we have been surviving for almost two years going through this now, okay? So with all that we have seen, things just don't really fit, okay? The pieces of this puzzle are not fitting and the people at play here and the people in power here are desperately trying to make these puzzle pieces fit and they're just not fitting. So. It's no shade to anybody that has lost loved ones and or are going through things right now due to what is going on. It is absolutely no shade. But as a people that are going through this and as people who have to make sound decisions for themselves, hopefully, we should be able to discuss and talk about everything that is going on on this planet and under the sun, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Our queen, queen, Nicki Minaj is being, some people wanna say bullied, some people wanna say blackballed, uh, some people wanna say discarded from the Twitter streets, okay? Some people have said that she's being dragged, okay? Mostly by African American people and Democrats, no shade, let's just be real. When it gets down to it, Nicki Minaj is being censored. So I know everybody already know what is going on, Nicki Minaj has gotten into it with a few other MSNBC and a few other social media and news media tycoons, a couple of news media heads, so to speak. And Nicki Minaj is pretty much standing her ground when it comes to expressing herself about what she is going through on this planet, okay, just as well as everybody else. I'm not bringing this to you guys like I'm bringing you breaking, spilling, hot, piping tea news because I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about this. I pretty much just want to talk about it. I, I, I just want to talk about it and see what you guys think about it. And I know that we're going to get different viewpoints. Okay, everybody has a different hindsight, a different perspective. I know that we're going to get different viewpoints, but I just want to kind of just put it all out there and see how everybody feels about this because you have obviously one side of people that feels like you just need to get the jab baba luba bala bam boom and shut up don't ask no questions and there are other people that are going through this that feel like more research needs to be done excuse me there are other people who feels like efficacy needs to be passed before this whole thing is just rolled out on everybody and there are other people in between on both sides that feel like we should be able to choose regardless. You know, like how you have the flu season, okay? You have the choice and the ability to go to your local CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, hospital, primary care, clinic, wherever, to get a flu shot. Why can it not just be like that and leave it up to the people if they want to put something like that in their bodies, okay? We're not just talking about a number three from McDonald's. We're not talking about a monster burger from Hardee's, okay? Even though they probably are more damaging at the end of the day. We are talking about a whole vacation. We're going to call it that for the sake of the video. Shouts out, YouTube, okay? We're going to call it the vacation, okay? So, long story short, you guys, just to speed up on this. Nicki Minaj did not attend the Mac Gala and her reasons for not attending the Mac Gala was because she did not want to take the vacation. She did not want to 
get the jab, ba ba loo ba la bam boom, okay? Which is her every right. She has a right to decide on things like that when it comes to her, her children, and, 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 and hopefully, you know, she can help others figure out what they want to do. Not telling anybody what to do. Just telling somebody, hey, go do this, go do this. Why? Because we said so. Don't question it. Sort of like that lady. I cannot think of her name. I think she was some type of representative for some type of city or state or something like that. Governor, mayor, senator. I have absolutely no idea. Treasurer. I don't know. But she got up to the podium and she was just like, I'm not going to ask no questions. Uh, I'm going to step up and do what I got to do. Uh, I'm going to roll up my sleeve. I don't want to know the ingredients. I don't want to ask no questions. I'm just going to take the job. And I'm just like, uh, okay. That may work for you, sis. <laughs> Have at it. But... It don't work like that for everybody else. It's just like everybody on the planet don't have the same DNA. Although we have blood in our system, if you put that blood under a microscope, okay, the blood pattern, the blood signature is going to be different. I clearly get what they say when they say one size fits all healthcare. This is not one size fits all, honey. Everybody's bodies is different. There need to be way, way, way more study done. And that's what Nicki Minaj was getting at, honey, okay? If you are a real scientist, don't you gotta do research, honey? <laughs> Hello? And that's what she's doing, weighing the pros and cons, getting the information to see if this is something that she wants to do. And she's already stated within these series of tweets that she has a child to think about. She's also putting that into consideration. <laughs> so it's just like, the people are really coming at her for voicing her opinion. And so at the end of the day here, we have Nicki Minaj stating that she's not going to be attending the, the gala because of certain things that have to go on for you to be able to attend. Okay, it's not like she didn't have the money for the ticket. <laughs> she just didn't want to do the jab, ba 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 bam, boom. And so, with that being said, some people kind of got on her case on Twitter and Instagram. And so then... Nicki Minaj also came out with a a post talking about her cousin back in Trinidad. And the post reads, My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vacation because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding, so just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision not bullied bitch okay and that is the key here because it seems like everybody and their mama grandma uncle aunts cousins sisters mailman pastors okay it seems like everybody is being bullied into doing something that they possibly don't even want to do Hello, you got to sit on this. You got to think about certain things before you do things, especially when it comes to like your body. And so here we have a African-American woman just putting her emotions out there on a platform where we're supposed to be able to do that. But you can see the censorship. Hello, no shade. After Nicki Minaj makes this tweet, for me, that's when the shit hits the fan because you have people coming out of nowhere, literally telling her what she should be doing as if they know what the hell they're doing themselves. All these people that's running around telling everybody what to do, they're only regurgitating talking points from the damn news. <laughs> it's not like anybody else has really gone out here and put pen to paper and really done a lot of research themselves. Not only that, there are other sources out here who are giving other accounts of what is going on outside of the so-called clinic and hospitals. Okay, people are also coming online giving you the side effects for what's going on here. Okay, they're coming online telling you that they are having this and this and this happen to them just moments after, just days after, just weeks after, months after taking the vacation. But guess what? Those videos are being silenced. And those videos and all those statistics, all of that data is not being shared. Why is that? Hello? Okay, so at the end of the day, you damn right. She should not be censored for what she is saying. We should get research from all sides. 
north, west, east, and south, and all areas in between. So we have a respondent, Joe Joy, excuse me. Hey, Kububu, Hashaba, Harare. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. We have Joy and Reed, a respondent, MSNBC, come out and try to really just sock it to Nicki Minaj, but in a nice, nasty way, like she cared, okay? No shade, no tea. And they, the people kill me with that. You really running around here trying to tell somebody how to govern their own health, like you care about them so much, but yet, bitch, you ain't helping nobody pay no bills. You ain't helping nobody really, really change the world in a positive and in a more abundant and opulent way. You're absolutely positively not doing that, but yet you want to run around and dictate who should have a mask on and who should be getting the vacation. And we don't even know if Joy Reid herself got it, okay? Especially with the comments that she made when President Trump was in office. Hello. I'll get back to that in just a few. But... You had Joy Reid come out telling Nicki Minaj, Oh, sister. Oh, God, sister. I'm so disappointed. Oh, you should do better with your platform. I only have 2 million. You have 22 million. <laughs> of course they're going to listen to you. Oh, sis. You should do so much better with your platform. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Where my biscuit? Where my biscuit? <laughs> it's just like, girl, honey. Probably don't even connect with the average black person in America, yo damn self. We're, what are you doing here? And then trying to make the people feel bad because they're expressing the decisions. They're expressing the thought forms that they're having. And you here, my friend, are just like the lady I was talking about earlier. I'm going to just roll up my sleeve, honey. I'm not going to ask no questions. I don't want to know the ingredients. And I'm going to just get the job, blah, 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 bam, boom. And so from this point on, when Joy Reid responds Nikki's done <laughs> and I don't blame her you're not going to sit up here and be able to say what you want to say about me and yet I can't retaliate and yet I continue to get censorship and you can still go on Twitter and type anything that you want on the Twitter streets okay as long as what you're saying is going along with <laughs> I don't want to use the word but you know what I mean Clearly, Nicki Minaj is not having it. And the thing that I don't understand is it is not like she's going out here telling people not to do it. It's not like she's going out here telling people that Bobo 19 isn't real, okay? She's literally telling people to make a conscious decision, make a informed decision, okay? It's absolutely no shade. We know that Fauci is the resident celebrity fucking scientist around here now, okay? He sits over Bill Nye. He sits over everybody, <laughs> okay? Listen. But honey, just because he is saying this, yes, we can take that information in. That is fine. But that does not mean that we cannot go do research for ourselves, honey. That is the thing that is just really gagging me now. And then you have two people coming online saying, oh, well, you're not scientists. You're not qualified to do any research. You can't do any research. And it's just like, uh. and I know I said that earlier, going on YouTube and going on Wikipedia really ain't doing a whole bunch of research. But if you're doing the type of research of being on the ground, being at these hospitals, talking to nurses, co collaborating stories together, going through your own experiences and telling people about your experiences and getting their experiences and, and putting that information together together. At the end of the day, you are doing research. No shade, no tea. And at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj and her cousin were clearly talking about the vacation and talking about Bobo 19. And I could surmise that they were probably comparing and contrasting what was going on between Trinidad and the U.S. And they were, guess what? Doing research. And her cousin told her what happened to his friend. Period. You got a lot of people saying that it was a sexually transmitted disease. Okay, so what happens when the guy go and get a test and everybody find out it was not a sexually transmitted disease and then boom, then what? It very well could have been a reaction and or a side effect from the vacation, honey. Like side effects do exist, okay? You know how they have those commercials with your AstraZeneca, your Zyrtec, your Ambien, your Abilify, and they're listing a whole slew, hundreds of side effects on the commercial? How come we can't get that for the vacation? 
Okay, thank you. How come we can't get that for the jab, baba, loo, baba, la, bam, boom, honey? And to go down the list of all the damn side effects. But anywho, the thing that just really grinds my gears is how this whole thing here is so contradictory. It just makes me want to pull my eyeballs out, okay? And crip walk on them. Listen, you had Joy Reid make comments about the vacation when Trump was in office. And the thing I'm trying to wrap my head around is how come when Trump was in office, talks of the vacation were bad, 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 orange man, bad, okay? The vacation is going to be just as bad as Trump's hairline out this bitch, okay? And we're just not going to take the vacation, okay? We don't trust it. You had everybody from Kamama Bahama Bahama Barbaris saying it, okay? You had everybody from Flintstone, Bam Bam, Biden saying it. A whole slew of other Boule members, okay? A whole bunch of other talking points on MSNBC. They were saying that they didn't trust the Jabberwocky. And now, just because it's Flintstone, Bam Bam, Biden's administration, now everything's all good? Um, is this not the same FDA? Is it not the same CDC? Okay, is this are these not the same companies that were gonna make this shit anyway? The same Moderna, the same Pfizer, okay, the same Johnson and Johnson, <laughs> okay, that's clearly been taking people out for eons. Hello, what's going on here? I, I am just not understanding. But anywho, Miss Joy Reid is looking crazy right now, and we don't need you to come back and apologize for this one, honey. Just take it on the chin, sis. <laughs> Boom! Take it on the chin. Nicki Minaj got your ass together, girlfriend. No shade and no tea. But not only did Joy Reid want to get a piece of that boom ba doom boom boom ba doom boom bass, honey. Pierce Morgan, he come out. Where, where, where is he at? United Kingdom, Britain. Where, where, <laughs> honey, he's all the way halfway across the world, damn near about over here commenting on what Nicki Minaj is saying. Yes, Pierce, honey, we know that you've battled with the Bobo 19, but guess what? Knock on wood, honey. You're still here to talk about it. Here we go again with somebody else from mainstream media attacking somebody for voicing their opinion. He said what he had to say, and honey, Nicki Minaj absolutely let him hold it. She absolutely let him hold it. Yeah, because you have people like Nicki Minaj, Busta Rhymes, Joe Rogan, Alex Jones. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... <laughs> These people say anything and they're automatically censored and they cannot voice their opinion. And it's just like, what is going on here now? Who told these other factions of people that they could just come down and just govern and say, you can say this, but you can't say that. You can research this, but you can't research that. Bitch, who put who, who put these people in power, honey? I'm going to go, what? I'm just, I, I'm, I'm lost. And, the, and, and another killer thing is they're not really reporting all of these um, sports events and all of these rallies and stuff where literal Democrats are going around in droves chanting hashtag F Joe Biden clap 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 F Joe Biden I mean they they are really doing this and it's just like this has to be a slap in the face for the people honey <laughs> we the people it's gotta be and when I say that, I mean for on both sides. Whether if you blue or you red, okay, whether you're blood or a crip or a Democrat or Republican, honey, burnt. <laughs> Crazy how that all kind of goes together. But it, it, it has to be a slap in the face because here we have Nicki Minaj, and I could gather that most of her following and fans are Democrat, you know, <laughs> vote or die, <laughs> okay, and. Now that they've seen her not just go along with the rest of the horde, okay, th they too now can be opened up to express their form of thought, not being told what to do, just to think about it, honey, okay? If you if you think about getting it, you on the fence, and, 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 and your mama got it, and your grandma don't got it, you still got to make a choice within your own, within your own household, within your own life. So, I mean, hell. You really worried about what Nicki Minaj is saying? I mean, this is like... <laughs> this just also, too, shows me that people obviously or maybe really don't care about their health like I kind of thought everybody did. It's just like, honey, um, 
we live in a time now where it's 2021 and we have options and not only that we have the resources and the research to know you know what kind of direction we can go in when it comes to taking medicines trying to heal ourselves seeking other advice going to a doctor going to a chiropractor a natural path you know and so it's just like okay why would you go and get nyquil when you can go and get some damn elderberry <laughs> or ginger root or apple cider vinegar or just eat damn apples and celery it's just like why would what and i just want to pedal back a little bit to read this tweet from joy ann and she says i mean will anyone anyone at all ever fully trust the at cdc gov again question mark and who on God's earth would trust a vacation approved by the at U.S. underscore F.D.A. question mark question mark. How do we get a vacation distributed after this broken Trumpist nonsense has infected everything question mark even if Flintstone bam bam Biden wins. Wow. She really changed her tune over night bitch. Now there were reports that. Nicki Minaj got banned from Twitter, but other tweets have come out saying that Nicki Minaj has not been banned. Other news sources now, the fact checkers from the other news sources that's bringing you these stories anyway. <laughs> Get it. The news source is bringing you news, and two, that same news source is its own fact checker. Hello. Okay, anyway. But the news sources are saying that Twitter did not uh, ban and block Nicki Minaj. She still has her account. Nicki Minaj just kind of went on the rampage saying that she would never use the platform again and that it was getting kind of scary for her. Honey, her and everybody else as well. <laughs> no shade, no tea. This is what it is. This shit has really hit the fan. Because like I said, I, I, I could gather that most of her fans are Democrats. And it is sad, but Democrats are literally the ones that are leading this pro vacation jabawaki jababaloo babala bam boom movement okay don't ask no questions just go ahead and get with the deal get with the program and let us tell you what to do mind you <laughs> these same people have not been able to cure nothing for eons and now all of a sudden we got a vaccine guess what that still don't work <laughs> Yes, it may keep you from passing away And the pain may not be as severe But guess what, honey? You can still get Bobo 19 And all other variants, okay? Even if you have been jab ba blah, 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 bam, boom So it's just like I was saying earlier Trust the science, trust the science, trust the science But honey, the science, honey Need to be revisited, Okay? Stop putting your ingredients in the microwave, honey, and slow cook it on the stove, honey, and in the oven, bitch. Okay. The superstars as well. No, and no other superstars really have actually come to Nicki Minaj's defense or her aid, and I just find that crazy. Everybody else is on board with this. Are you kidding me? It's just like you can't say anything, and it's just like they expect us to actually just go along with everything no questions asked just because i watch tv and just because danny fucking glover and samuel l jackson and lebron james is on tv telling me what i need to do don't mean that i should necessarily go and do it these people have never helped me with the bill the first these celebrities have never just really come in the community and change whole communities and change African American, Caucasian, Indian, Chinese. So they never change people's lives in a, as, as, as a whole. You have the wealth. You have the influence, honey. Let's do better. Ain't that what everybody say? Oh, you should do better. Oh, you could just do so much better. Okay, well, honey, how about a group of y'all get together, collaborate something, put your coins and your resources together and actually build better around this bitch. Instead of trying to tell everybody what to do. We still even don't even know what celebrities really have been jab, blah, 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 bam, boom. It's not like they're t showing everybody their damn vacation cards. They're not showing everybody their vacation report cards. Okay. Scientists are not the only individuals that do research, honey. 
I'm pretty sure you girls, before you girls, get ready and get your lace fronts and get your uh, edge control and all this other stuff, honey. I'm sure you do research <laughs> on what you're going to buy. Hello. Before you guys get ready and go to a buffet and go tear a buffet down, honey, you want to know what's on the buffet. You want to know how much it is. <laughs> is it all to? Is it all you can eat or do you get a damn doggy bag? Honey, you go and Google up and research what you're about to get into. <laughs> Hello. I know this on a smaller scale, but at the end of the day, honey, th this is what this is all based upon. Me just sitting in front of the TV, zombied out of my mind, just regurgitating whatever I'm seeing on MSNBC and just continuing to follow along with that is me just going along with something. It's not me doing my research. This is my last thing I'm going to talk about because she really got the girls together. Okay, because Don Lemon actually got in this... Well, he, I don't, I don't know. He, he didn't really get involved, involved. <clears throat> I think he was maybe trying to do a little bit of damage control, but the queen was still in the building because he made some tweets about uh, Nicki Minaj actually not being banned from Twitter. There were some tweets floating around that Nicki Minaj had actually got invited to the White House <laughs> and to receive a phone call, I'm guessing from the CDC and or the FDA and or Fauci himself, he's a major celebrity now, okay, to be more educated, so to speak, on the situation and what's going on. Uh, and she said that she was actually going to go to the White House and going to follow up on this and she was going to ask questions that came from her followers and other people on Twitter that had questions. And she said she was going to do that with full transparency. So this is just a tweet that she put out and it says, the White House has invited me and I think it's a step in the right direction. Yes, I'm going. I'll be dressed in all pink like Legally Blonde so they know I mean business. Shade, shade. Because if you really get into Legally Blonde, honey, the girl that wore pink, honey, listen, thank you. Okay. I'll ask questions on behalf of the people who have been made fun of for simply being human. Period. Hashtag ball gate day three. It's crazy. And I can just not take how people are attacking her out of nowhere. But yet there have been a plethora, several of other celebrities and or superstars from a... Another na other nationalities and or other races that have voiced their opinions and honey they did not get dragged like this okay no shade no tea they did not get thrown in the fire wig first like this so definitely want to know what you guys think in the comment section below I'll be hitting you guys up later on I will see y'all in the next one take care don't forget to like share subscribe Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on when I upload more content such as this.